Babylon. The word Babylon has as its root the word Babel, which means confusion. And this word takes us back to the first book, Genesis, where we find the story of the Tower of Babel, where the language of people was confused. Now, let's go to the book of Daniel, where we find this character and his friends. They were taken captives to Babylon. And as we said before, Babylon means confusion. Daniel became Belteshazzar, Hananiah became Shadrach, Mishael, Meshach, and Azariah became Abednego. They could change the names, but not their character. They could take them away from home, but they couldn't remove the principles that they learned. They could teach them about the sciences of the world, but they never teach them about the love of God and His character. Let me ask you this question. What is your Babylon today? What is your confusion? Maybe you are facing a health issue. Maybe you are having a disease that the doctors have told you there is no cure, there is no solution for you. But remain steadfast and faithful. As these young people, Daniel had as a principle, he had a purpose to remain faithful to God, no matter what. He decided not to defile himself, not with food, nor with drink, not even with the traditions of that Babylonian nation. His friends also, they had a principle to worship one God. And this was the God of the, of the whole universe. And they remained steadfast, even when they were facing the fiery furnace, when they were thrown into this furnace, they were saved and kept by Jesus Christ. So today as well, the same thing may happen to us. We may be confused by the things that are happening in the world, but let's remember, in this confusion, in this desert, the Lord is with us. Maybe your situation is that you are facing a family issue. Maybe your family is splitting. Maybe you are facing a divorce. Or maybe your children are becoming rebellious and you don't know what to do. Again, remain steadfast. Trust in the Lord and He will open a way. He will open the doors to show you a solution. That in this world of confusion, there is a solution. You will get through this. This is a promise that the Lord wants us to know that we will get through this confusion. Maybe we are captives in this world as well of the things that are happening around. Maybe we are captive in this world with addictions. Maybe we find many problems and we think that the Lord has forsaken us, but remain strong and unwavering as a rock and trust that the Lord is going to help you. He is going to take you out of this confusion. The Bible says, if we honor God, He will honor us and He will help us. But today, we have this opportunity. No matter what your confusion is, no matter what kind of Babylon you are facing, the Lord is with you and He wants to help you and He wants to save you. Daniel, and his friends were witnesses in this world. They were the light of the world in their time. And today, the Lord is inviting you to become the light of the world, a witness for Him in this universe, to show to people that no matter what confusion is around us, the Lord is with us. And finally, we can say that Daniel prayed three times a day and he opened the windows of his room to talk to God. Today, we can open our hearts and talk to the God of the universe, and he's willing to save us out of this confusion. Amidst the confusion and Babylon around us, we can still make this place heaven, because heaven begins here with Jesus in our lives. Invite Jesus Christ to your Babylon for Him to make it heaven, because heaven 
is where he is. Let's be with him.